y'all. Um, I thought I would get out today. It's gonna be about 60 degrees, um, not too warm. Tomorrow, however, it's gonna get really, really warm. Almost 80. All right, so I thought I would get out and go through store shopping today, look for some reselling items. Um, maybe anything I need at home. I just don't think there is very much I need. Actually, this morning, I thought I would uh, swing by and get some coffee first to kind of wake me up. I'm feeling a little bit better. I had night quill and I was in bed by eight o'clock last night. So I got a full night's rest. Um, woke up at five and went back to bed till about 7.30, woke up again. And I'm still nasally coughing, um, clogged up. But I thought I would get me some coffee that might make me feel a little bit better and then head to the thrift store this morning. Earlier, I did get a few items listed on Poshmark and I have so much I need to list and do. Starting over from scratch after divorce, I have enough things to list. I don't need to be going to the thrift store. Um, However, I have nothing better to do today, and I don't want to just sit at home. I do want to start feeling better, and so I need some fresh air. And I'm hoping that whatever I have will go away if I can keep pushing myself. Um, but I do need to take a rest, you know, and so I am trying to get better and healthier so I can be working more. The great thing about being a reseller as a second full-time job is I can do it even while I'm working at the daycare on my downtime, like when the kids are sleeping. I can do it in the evening or on my lunch break. I can work full-time hours on the weekends and thrifting is part of the reselling journey it's finding those items that you can turn around and flip very quickly and a lot of the things that I have at home already are things that were given to me by family and friends when I was going through my divorce and I had no furniture and I had no items from my house um, my husband kept everything for nine months and so I had re purchased everything uh, and I did take a lot of trips to the thrift store at that time um, people were giving me money uh, from church and stuff to help support me and my kids during that time and so I have been very blessed with extras and I have since going through my divorce and now that I have all my things back I have been able to pay it forward and I have also taken a lot of things back to the thrift store and having pickups. And so one of the things I'm doing this weekend is doing just that, getting ready for another thrift store pickup and organizing my home a little bit more. So I really am hoping that when I get home after today's thrift store journey, that I will be able to do some of that organization and everything um, later this afternoon. And then tomorrow, I would like to do a clean out of my car when it's 80 degrees outside and beautiful. And um, organizing my car, getting it ready for car camping for the spring and summertime. Uh, I do have a lot of planning on taking some trips when I don't have my kids this um, summer and I have a lot of time to myself now and so I'm hoping to be able to explore quite a bit. The thrift store that I am wanting to go to isn't even open yet. It's only 9.30 in the morning and so I have time to swing by here at Scooters and get me my Carmelicious coffee and um, get ready to pass my flea market booth um, place that I used to have and so just thought I would
do a drive by there. They're getting ready to open up shop. I miss having the flea market booth, but I don't. Um, it was very expensive for rent. It's like everybody's going to scooters today. <laughs> There's a long line. So I do really um, enjoy having this time to myself to be able to get things done. Um, I'll be able to do concerts and conferences and um, meeting up with the other single moms in my area and donating and thrifting and reselling and um, going out to my property even on the weekends. I do plan on going out there. It will probably be the next weekend I have nice weather. Um, hopefully it's a weekend I have my son, but we'll see. And maybe we'll be able to go out there and enjoy the sunshine. I would like a large car malicious. Oh, I just had a hot one. Yes. Perfect. Extra shot in there. Yes. Oh, and what else can, I get you? can I get the maple waffle sandwich? Absolutely. Anything else today? That'll be it. All right. I guess that's all for you. Thank you. I'm gonna try this, you guys. I've never had it before. I have tried uh, their donuts. I didn't care for them. But I am hungry. And so we will see. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, whatever we do today. And I am going to show you what I purchase at the thrift store. Good. How's yours? Good. Working hard? I'm sorry. Are you said, are you working hard? <laughs> yeah, we're busy on Saturdays. I bet. I saw the line. I was like, oh, everybody's going to scooters. Makes the day go by faster. Gotta have coffee. Yes. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Okay. I've never had this. Let's pull over and see what it's like. I just saw the picture. I thought maybe that sounded good. I don't even know what's in it. You guys, I'm not feeling good, and I even have my heater on right now. Oh, this looks delicious. It looks like an egg McMuffin, almost. But it has sausage. It's very, very hot, you guys. It has one waffle on one side of it, and a waffle on the other. Oh, it's so hot. And then it has the sausage and the cheese in the middle. You guys, can you see the steam coming off that sucker? That is so good. It actually tastes like a McGriddle. I had a McGriddle for the first time not too long ago and it was so yummy. My 15 year old had a McGriddle and I never knew what it was like, but uh, he said, try it. And I tried it and I was like, oh, I got to order that next time I go to McDonald's. I did bring water so I could stay hydrated. Uh, that's a part of feeling better. I think it's just I'm so dehydrated. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, as I'm eating my food, 
here. Uh, looks so yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head into the next city over, which is where the thrift store is, and I will bring you guys along with me, show you kind of what I get, um, probably when I'm done shopping. So, here we go. Okay, real quick, I'm still on the road. I wanted to let you know, um, I was flipping through the channels and um, turned on Understanding Our Times with Jan Markell and she was interviewing Jack Hibbs and um, Pastor Jack Hibbs has really gone through the ringer lately ever since he did his speech uh, prayer on um, Capitol Hill and uh, had a lot of backlash because he was proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ and they're talking about the end times and they're talking about where we are in our world right now and how we're seeing the birth pains and lawlessness is probably the number one thing. Um, families being broken, as he said, and children disobeying their parents and uh, greediness uh, with money and constitutional rights being removed from us. He was talking about how the other countries, um, especially China, are now in a position to overpower the United States of America. And, you know, the Bible says when we begin to see these things happen, and he has a list of all these things that Jesus said were going to happen as they are happening now. Be on the lookout for our redemption drawing near. And as a Christian believer, I believe that's why there's so many divorces right now. Uh, lawlessness. Uh, men are not stepping it up as men in their families. They're not following God's word. They're living in sin. They are um, not following God's word and commandments on marriage and family unity under Christ on so many different levels and this channel is about being a single mom. How do you be a single mom when you have these Christian values like Jack Hibbs was talking about? How do you move on forward in your life with the Christian values of doing what's right and Christian values of staying faithful in your marriage even when you're divorced. How do you move forward? Uh, what do you do when you have been abandoned? What do you do when you're financially um, broke? When you have been a stay-at-home mom for many years and now you're back in the workforce starting life over again with supporting children and how do you move forward in your life as a Christian when it seems like there's no hope? And I love how Jan Markell had asked Jack Hibbs to give us some hope because as Christians, Jack Hibbs says, this pans out really great for us as believers in Jesus Christ. It's not all sadness just because the world is getting very evil and lawless. It is the blessed hope that we're going to be taken out of this world. And we know that God is going to supply all of our needs. I can tell you as a single mom, I, I can't even go into detail on how many blessings I've had since my divorce. I did not want my divorce three years ago. I did not want to be separated from my spouse. Something happened. Something changed. I don't know what it was. But my husband filed for divorce and walked away from our family. And actually through the divorce has separated all of my children and they're no longer 
a family with each other. My boys have been all separated. And I'm the one who is the glue, juggling everything together, working really hard. Um, I'm older, I'm not young anymore, and it's very difficult. Financially, I work all day for almost 40 hours a week and barely can pay my bills. It's just the economy that we're living in. It is very rough. Things are very expensive. And yet, through all the struggles I've had, through all the pain I've had, I have been blessed. God has taken care of me. I may not know how I'm going to pay my bills. I may be thousands of dollars in debt now. I may have legal fees that are just racking up. And I can't pay them. But God, but God, he has kept me breathing. He's kept me fed. He's kept shelter over my head. And for someone who didn't have a place to live because her husband filed for divorce, I can tell you God provided 100% of the way for me and my children when I felt helpless, when I felt unworthy. And I know that God is working in my life. Even here on YouTube, just sharing my journey with you guys. I know God is blessing it. And he's helping you guys and using me as a testimony. Oh my gosh, there's not a, I'm not going to get a cart. There's a long line. Oh no, the thrift store's not open yet. Ah, I hate this because that means I'm not going to get a cart. All right, I'm going to have to wait my turn. But I'm going in. Uh, I just want to let you know, guys, that God is in control and he's providing every step of the way for you guys. And um, I, I really cannot complain about how happy I am and what God has done in my life. So I just want to encourage you guys. As we see the day approaching, look up, for our redemption draweth near. Okay, guys. I didn't get much. I only have three bags. Usually, I walk out about six bags. This thrift store is kind of my honey pot. All the books that are paperback books are 50 cents and hardback books are a dollar um they were given away <coughs> two free breads and so i went ahead and grabbed them so i can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for me and my kiddos um i think that that's one of my favorite lunch meals is as long as i have milk and i can have oreo cookies and maybe some cheese puffs or cheetos or something with it i love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on my lunch break i make them i put them in the freezer and then i can um eat them by the time i have my lunch break and they're dethawed so all right 31 dollars, and i can tell you um i did pretty good i got two madden games these retail for 60 dollars a piece so i have those to resell I got a Boy Scout book. I do want to keep this in case my son decides to do Boy Scouts. Um, and I will have that book for him. And if he grows up and he never wants to join um, Boy Scouts, then at least I have the book I can resell later. I have asked my son if he wants to do Boy Scouts, and he says no. But... Um, I know that is one thing that my ex-husband always wanted our son to do, and um, my son is not showing any interest in it right now, so um, 
I'm sure his dad's going to probably try to talk him into it at some point. Um, $11 is what this book um, retails for, so it's not that much. I did pay a dollar for it, and I thought it would be a good read. It is Start Your Life New Today with Joyce Meyer. And so I'm going to read it and then resell it. I also got When God Doesn't Make Sense by James Dobson. Um, I always like James Dobson um, when he preaches. And um, when he's on the radio, I always listen to him. So um, this book is by him. And I'm holding on to your faith, even when God doesn't make sense. I'll tell you, going through my divorce, God uh, definitely has protected me, but it doesn't make sense what happened to my husband um, and the change of faith that he had. And so, um, again, uh, this is a 50 cent book, Signature Bass. I decided because it looked brand new and it retails for 18 and I paid 50 cents for it, I would resell it. Um, right there, I got half my money back. And then I got me, uh, personally, just to wear a Christmas shirt. It's a Keeping Christ in Christmas. And so I thought that would be a good shirt for me to keep um, for myself to wear at Christmas time next year. If we are still here, you guys, I seriously don't even want to be here for next Christmas. I barely got through this Christmas, to be honest with you guys. It was so difficult. Okay, um, so that was bag number one. Bag number two, I got this Annette and Jules Smushy, Smush Mellow. I have that right here, and um, I thought I would give it to my granddaughter if I don't want to resell it. I don't know how much it would resell for, but I only paid like 50 cents for it. I paid 50 cents for this bag of Hoover vacuum bags. Um, whenever I get these at the thrift store, I pay 29, 49, 50 cents for these. Um, they retail for 15 or more dollars. So I always pick up brand new bags of these, um, especially at this one thrift store. And here is a Eureka set and so i paid 50 cents but it will retail for about 15. a couple more books uh this one i want to read it is um a 50 cent book it retails for 15. it's what women fear by angie smith i thought that would be a good book for me um and how to build a fire and other handy things your grandfather knew by aaron breed um, again, another $15, $15 book, but I paid $0.50 cents for it. Um, it just talks about how to do an oil change, how to do all these things. Um, my thought is when I do my car camping, I have this book. And then that way I can read it. Plus, I can learn, you know, how to take care of my vehicle and camping and all that. Um, I got this book. Uh, this would be a dollar book. How do dinosaurs clean their rooms? I already have this at home. But I would like to keep it for myself. And we have dinosaur theme at the daycare this week. And so this is uh, the dinosaur book um, that I want to put in my classroom. How do dinosaurs clean their rooms? Um, I got this brand new monthly milestone blanket and frame set. I don't feel the frame in here. Um, I haven't opened this. But this looks like it is like a cheesecloth material. Um, it is Gerber. Um, there is a hole in the box, so I can say damaged box. But these retail um, for like $15 to $20, you guys, brand new. And it's still in the box. So I thought I could resell that. And I paid $1.50 for it. So there's that. And one more thing. Um, I paid $1.50 for this camo knife holder. Um, and, and so I thought it has a little clip on it for your belt buckle. And um, I just thought this would be a really good uh, reselling item for men. I do try to keep all my reselling items um, new or new looking and name brand. 
as much as I can. But I really will resell all sort of things. Books, games, movies, clothing, anything I can get, especially for free. Um, and really cheap here at this um, honeypot of a store that I go to. And um, that is bag number two. Bag number three is this uh, woof tie, you guys. Um, the lady at the register said this is a $25 tie. Um, I know her. We're friends. She knows I'm a reseller. And she says, oh, that is one of those um, endangered species ties. And this retails for $25. She said last time she checked. And so that was a good deal. I paid $0.49 cents for it, you guys. Um, this is why I go to this thrift store. Again, brand new pantyhose. These retail for pretty good. I paid $0.50, cents, brand new in the package. Um, another great reselling item. All right. Um, I got this Moo Moo dress. Uh, it is my size, you guys, and um, it's Emery Rose. And I may keep this and wear it for a while around my house. Um, in my old age that I'm getting, you guys, I'm just getting so relaxed with um, feeling comfortable with my body, even though I'm a bigger girl now. I'm no longer thin like I used to be when I was first married. I um, am in a lot of pain, to be honest with you. Walking through the store right now, I uh, am hurting and I'm sick. I'm getting worse again. I got to go home. Um, but I could tell you that I have, um, gotten so old after a hysterectomy and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to fix it. Um, my body has gone through hell and back because of depression in my marriage and a hysterectomy and endometriosis. And I'll tell you guys, I need knee replacements. I need a weight loss surgery. I need uh, immune system built. I have osteoporosis now. My bones are brittle. Uh, my hair is falling out in clumps. I am going bald on top. And I am just falling apart, you guys. I don't know what's happened, but it's been since my hysterectomy. I gained all this weight. I want to lose it. I feel young in my, my spirit. I'm happy, but I am falling apart physically. And I really need your guys' prayer on that, uh, that I could just heal. Because I don't know how I'm going to do the single mom life on my own when I don't have that love and that support from a spouse to uh, help me uh, financially, but help me get back on my feet again. Help me... Um, that's one thing in my marriage I really, really wish I had was love and support. Um, if I would have had that from my spouse, I would have uh, taken better care of myself health-wise. But I was depressed for 10 years, you guys. 10 years of not feeling loved. And it really took uh, a toll on my body. And so I got this uh, Bobby Brooks Plus Size 2X. Another, it's a dress. It's got pockets in it. Uh, real, like a long t-shirt, but it's a dress um, with the pockets. And again, I think I might keep that for myself because it's almost like a moo, moo And I am really loving moo moos right now just to wear around the house. They're comfortable. They cover everything. And um, it's just so freeing, especially in the summertime. Um I've never really worn moo moos before. I'm more of a sweat girl, uh, wearing sweats. But at this point in my life, I'm old. I, I don't plan on ever getting married again. I want to stay married in my vows. I want to do what God has commanded me to do as far as my marriage. And I want to uh, just love myself and let God love me the way I need to be loved because um, unless he sends a, a good Christian man in my life, which is really hard to find these days, I um, I I just want someone to love me for who I am, and I can't change these things um, without killing myself. To be honest with you guys, 
uh, that is physically wrong with me. I am a single mom, financially broke. I can't afford insurance. I can't afford to take off work. I can't afford to take care of myself health-wise. And that's why I'm sick and I gotta go home. You guys, I'm really sick. Fly, uh, New York, dress. This is like a 60s dress, you guys, like a go-go dress. Uh, I love the design on it. It had a new tag on it right here. What uh, a great reselling dress. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna post it immediately today. Hopefully I can sell it, it's kind of vintage. I also got this um, fabric banner. I paid 50 cents for it. It retails for like 10 or $12. And it's just a brand new banner with pirates on it. So, for a pirate birthday party. Okay, I also got this. It's brand new in its package. I paid 50 cents for it, but it's a waterproof pouch um, for your cell phone. And I may keep this. Uh, I do have one of these at home. Um, and it's pink, but I know that I can, um, resell this brand new also. I got this fall shirt. It says, hello fall. And it's in my size, really comfy, long sleeve t-shirt. And that is all I got. Three bags, $31. Not bad. You guys, I can resell what I have and... I think I'll make my money back plus probably $25 to $30 more. So that is my reselling goal is to honestly take and buy cheap and resell um, for the double the amount of what I spent. So even though I have a couple items here for myself and for my classroom, I am definitely going to uh, make my money back with reselling and uh, double it. So I am happy with today's purchases. I just really don't feel good. And so I'm in the store and I'm starting to have watery eyes and clogged up nose. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and keep me in your prayers, you guys. I really need it. I just feel like I'm falling apart. So um, love y'all. Bye. At the beginning of this message, the church was suffering. They were being persecuted. In verse 13, among the lamps stands with someone like the Son of Man. That's Jesus drawing near to those who are suffering. So when you're suffering, sometimes we feel that we're all alone, but you're not. After some of the things I've been through, my husband's sudden home going and my father's in my cancer journey, I wrote a book, Jesus in Me, about the Holy Spirit. Amen. And how when we're suffering in just ways that we never dreamed, the Holy Spirit draws near to us. I can testify to His comfort, His strength, His encouragement, His help. As you rest right now, He's praying for you. Amen. Praying for me. By the dress of a king. Jesus is the king. He's in charge. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow. He's the ancient of days. He's all wisdom. He never makes mistakes. There are no 